Hello guys, thank you very much for being here. Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. How are you good doing? Hi teacher. All good? I am fine. Hi teacher. Good. All right, fantastic. So thank you uh, guys for being here on time. Remember that I always try to log in at 802 sharp. Do you know what is the meaning of sharp? No. No? Sharp can be can be something like Afilado, right? Sharp. This knife is sharp. So it can be like something super, super good. Okay. Sharp. Cabales a las, a las, a las ocho y dos. Eight or two sharp. Fidudo. Good. Sharp. So, um, I see that the group has been very active. You have been sending a lot of information, right? Well, as a matter of fact, el otro grupo está más activo que usted. Qué bárbaro. But that's good. This it's not a race. It's not a race. Now, ready for today's class, guys? Yes. Fantastic. Yes. That's yes, what teacher. I like about. Now, as you remember, I always try to keep you updated. How do you say siempre? Always. 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 Good. Now, do me a favor and give me an example with always. Uh huh. I always. Uh, clean my house. Great example. How do you say nunca? Never. 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 That's right. Give me an example, please, with never. I never go to late to bed late. Good. I never go to bed late. Fantastic. How do you say a veces? Sometimes. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Give me an example, please. I sometimes uh, drink mm -hmm. soda. Nice. I sometimes drink soda. Correct. Now, what is the difference between rising intonation and falling intonation? Follow intonation uh -huh. is when you is no question. Exactly. When it's not a question. Uh -huh. Can we use it before a name? Can we use falling is... intonation before a name? ¿Quién fue el que no, me dio? El right. que me, el que ocupó un comodín de oro que me dijo, buen trabajo, teacher. How do you say that in English? Uh -huh. Good job, teacher. Yeah, yeah. Good job, teacher. Good That's job, right. teacher. Good intonation. So remember, we're going to use falling intonation and rising intonation with yes, no question. Okay? Good. Nice review. Nice and clean. Let's work with today's topic then. So say it with me, please. Read it with me. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Good. Everybody, come on. I need to hear all of you. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. objective. In this lesson. In this, in this lesson, lesson. Participants will listen and follow a conversation about fitness. Participants, participants will listen and follow a conversation about conversation about fitness. Mm -hmm. Notice questions. Notice questions with how and short answers. Notice questions, notice questions with how, with how and short, short answers. Answer. Good. En esta clase los participantes escucharán y seguirán una conversación sobre capacidades físicas. Observe las preguntas con cómo y respuestas cortas. Ahora tiremoslo todo. In this lesson, participants will listen and follow a conversation about fitness. Notice questions with how and short answers. Go. In, In this, this lesson, lesson participants will listen and follow a conversation about fitness. Notice questions question with how and short answers. How and short answer. short answer. answer. Okay, understood. Now I need a volunteer to say it all and complete. Time. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay, go. Read it all. Complete. Okay. 
in this lesson, participants will listen and follow a conversation about fitness. Mm -hmm. Notice question, we have a short answer. Good, short sure answers. Good, good. There are a couple of things to improve, like notice. Say it with me. Notice. Yeah. Notice. Notice. Mm -hmm. Notice. Little by little. Thank you very much for your participation, mm -hmm. sir. Let's go ahead and pay attention to this following video. Say it with me, please. Conversation. 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 I'm a real fitness freak. I am a real fitness freak. freak. I am a real fitness freak. Uh-huh. Sorry, uh, one question. Uh, ¿Dónde está eso de, en información que nos han enviado? What do you mean? Eh, no me aparece en medio, solo se pasa del 1.3 uh -huh. al 2.0. Hmm. No, no, están, no están todos estos, entonces. Eh, Porque es el 1.3. Ajá, se lo voy a mostrar para que vea porque a mí no me aparece. Ok. Uh, ok, ok. ¿Es anybody else having the same issue? ¿Alguien más está teniendo el mismo problema? No. No. Ok. So, no, what, no, what we can do is the following, Adonai. Hey, Ian, thank you for changing your name. You are not Huawei oh, okay. anymore. <laughs> thank you. Um, ok. What you can do is send me screenshots or a video when you are changing because normally you click here next right okay, uh, and right. if it doesn't work i'm going to report it with uh jason and he's going to be helping you with the platform but we'll fix it we'll get it fixed lo vamos a poder arreglar solo si si de verdad es un issue no te preocupes yo lo reporto y nos vamos a encargar de ello okay, okay. In the meantime, let's go ahead and work with this screen I have in front of me. Okay. All right. Guys, go ahead and mute your microphones. Let's go ahead and pay attention to the video. In this class, you will listen and follow a conversation about physical skills. Hi, everyone. Are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time, we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. I'm a fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. All right. So now, there's a lot of vocabulary that we're going to use for the, next, for the next grammar and participation we're going to have. Now, go ahead and repeat after me. Try to copy everything. The way you hear it, that's the way you're going to try to say it, okay? You're in great shape, Keith. You're, you're in great shape, Keith. You're in great shape. Don't worry about it. Al principio vamos a estar todos tostados. Ya vamos a ir aflojando, okay? You're in. 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 You're in great shape, Keith. You're in great shape, Keith. Keith. Which means estás en buena forma. Okay. En forma. No en forma de pelotita como yo, sino en forma de literalmente buena condición física. Okay. Next one. Thanks. 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 Yeah. Thanks. 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 I guess I'm a real fitness freak. I guess I'm a real, I'm a real fitness, freak. fitness freak. I guess. I guess. I guess. I'm a real. Di un solo. I'm a real. I'm a real. Fitness freak. Fitness freak. Fitness freak. Gracias. Creo que soy un verdadero, um, how can we say this in Spanish? A fitness freak fanático. is someone that is crazy about, exactly. Mm -hmm. Es como soy un fanático de, del fitness, que pasa metido ahí en el gimnasio 24-7. También se le puede conocer como gym rat. Si alguien pasa mucho tiempo en un lugar, 
suena bastante ofensivo, la verdad, pero puede ser a gym rat, por ejemplo. Gym rat, que pasa metido en el gimnasio. So, fitness freak, it means that is crazy about fitness, que es su pasión, es un gran fanático. How do you say a fanático de fútbol? I don't know. Football freak. Football freak or soccer freak? Because if we say football, it's like the NHL with the helmets, with the balls and stuff. La N N F L. Ah, okay. I said N H. Yeah, it's N F L. All right. Very good. Okay. Let's continue with this. It got me out. Give me a second. Give me a second, please. It's loading. Let me check if people is using the internet here at home because it's getting really slow on my side. Yes, ma'am. All right, just give me a second. I was just double checking that people is not using Netflix at home or playing PlayStation. All right, so um, let's go ahead and continue with this conversation because there's vocabulary we're gonna be using. Just a moment. Internet has been acting up. Okay, so we kind of have it right here. Here. How often do you work out? 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 How, how often do you work out? How, how, how often do you work out? How often do you work out? How? Good. ¿Qué tan seguido te ejercitas? ¿Cómo se dice qué tan seguido te ejercitas? How often, how often do you, do you work, work out? out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week. Well, well I do aerobics twice, twice a week. And I play tennis. And I play tennis every week. And I play, play tennis, tennis every, every week. Every week. <laughs> Tennis. 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 That sounds like a lot of fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh -huh. That sounds like a lot of fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. Lot of fun. Good. Tennis. Eso suena muy divertido. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, oh, oh do you want to play sometimes? Nice intonation, nice rising intonation. ¿Quisieras jugar algún día? ¿O quieres jugar algún día? Um, how well do you play? Oh, oh, how, well how well do you play? play? Is, ¿qué tan bien juegas? Okay. Pretty well, I guess. Well, 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 I guess. Muy bien, creo. Well, all right. Well, well all, all right. right. Well, all right. Okay, muy bien. But I'm not very good. Very but I'm not, not very, very good. good. Here, say with me, please. But I'm, but I'm not but very I'm, good. But I'm not very good. Very good. good. I am good. Very good. Here, pronunciation, because I'm hearing very, and it should be V, acá. Very. 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 Good. Very. Si topamos los labios, es una fruta. Decimos B. Very. 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 So we have to make sure that we use this. V. Very. 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 But I'm not very good. No problem. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. 
I will I'll give you, you a few tips. A few tips. Here, I'll, 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 go. I'll give you, I'll give you, you, give you a few tips. A, a, a few, few tips. tips. Good, good. Al principio estaba escuchando tics, como que tenían algún tic nervioso o algo así. La pronunciación es con P, tips, y le explotamos. Tips. 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 Good. Tips. Now, guys, try to repeat after me and try to keep up. Keep up is mantener el ritmo. You're in good shape, kid. You're in good You're great, great great shape, great shape, kid. shape, kid. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. Thanks. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness, real fitness freak. freak. How often do you work out? How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Well, uh, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Every week. Every week. Every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Tennis? Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, oh do you want to play sometime? sometime? Um, how well do you play? Oh, how well do you play? play? Pretty well, I guess. Very well, Pretty well, well I guess. guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. Well, well I'm right, but I'm, I'm not, not very good. good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. No, no problem. problem. I'll give you a few <laughs> tips. All right, very good. So, guys, this is what we're going to do, and we're going to try to do it quick. I'm going to open up the break rooms because I want you to practice your pronunciation. Okay. I'm going to give you two minutes. And, for example, I have Johnny and Adonai in front of me. Johnny is going to be Ruth, and Adonai is going to be Keith. And then you change. Try to say it as many times as you can in two minutes. Clear? Okay. Oh, okay. Good, because when we come back, I'm going to have a victim to the front. Two victims. Go ahead and accept the invite, please. Okay. Let me see. Five rooms. There you go. Two minutes. Starting now. Go, please. Accept the invite. Remember to change roles. Cambien los roles. Una vez Ruth, otra vez Keith. Go, go. Mm -hmm. We're missing Luis, Roberto, and Nino. Nino, please accept the invite. Tatiana is waiting for you. Can you hear me, Lino? Good. Two minutes counting now.
All right, thank you, Luis. We're waiting for the rest of the people in two seconds. Good, everybody back. So guys, thank you very much. Two minutes are over and I need two volunteers. Just two, solo dos, no se me pelmasen por ahí. Two volunteers. I'm teacher. <laughs> okay, who said that? Omar Abelardo. Okay, Omar, and the other one? Yeah, me. Tatiana, okay, Omar and Tatiana. Yeah. Um, well, let me move this thing. Here we go. Okay, go guys. Ruth, you're gonna be Tatiana, and Omar is gonna be Keith. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you're in good shape. Keith. You're you're great shake. Uh, el nombre de él o el que está ahí? Keith. Ah, okay. Okay. You are in great shape, Keith. Keith. Thanks. Keith. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. I'm a real How fitness fit freak. I'm a I'm a real I'm fitness a, freak. Okay. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. I almost good. Mm -hmm. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week. Twice. And I play tennis every week. Good. Okay. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, how well do you play? Very well, I guess. Well, all right, but, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job, Omar. Good job, Tatiana. Thanks. Little by little, okay? No, no me enfoco en todo. I like the attitude. Vamos a trabajar un poco en entonación. Que a veces vamos para arriba cuando tenemos que ir al lo contrario. But good, I liked it. You've done a great job. That's how you improve. Así es como mejora. So guys, thank you for your participation. Let's go ahead and move to the grammar part, which is gonna be the conversation part at the end, okay? Now, read it with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. In this section, in this, this section, section, participants will watch and study. Participants will watch and study. study. Questions with how? Questions with how? how? Uh, aquí se les chispoteó un poquito. And short answers. And short, and short answers. answers. Good. How do you say respuestas cortas? Short, short answers. Short answers. Short answers. Exactly. So, en esta clase los participantes verán y estudiarán preguntas usando how, cómo, y cómo contestar en respuestas cortas. Now, let's read everything together. In this section, participants will watch and study questions with how and short answers. Go. In this section, participants will watch and study questions with how and short answers. Short answers. Good. I need a volunteer to read it, please. Me. Nice. I, I like there's a lot of volunteers. Uno de los que dijo me, porque no lo veo aquí. Okay, Luis. Okay, go. In this section, participants will watch and study question with how and short answer. There you go, short answers. Okay, so let's go ahead and watch the video. Here you're going to find the grammar part. And after that, after a short explanation, you're going to start working together, asking yourself questions. Let's go ahead and mute our microphones and watch the video. In this session, prepare to watch and study questions with how and to give short answers. Hello everyone. We will go over four important questions we can ask in order to know frequency and performance. Notice all questions begin with how. Pay attention. Questions with how. Short answers. How often do you work out? Every day. Twice a week. Not very often. How long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes a day. Two hours a week. About an hour on weekends. How well do you play tennis? Pretty well. 
About average. Not very well. How good are you at sports? Pretty good. Okay. Not so good. How? How often? How long? They refer to times or frequency. How well? How good? They refer to performance. How often do you go to English class? How long do you spend at school? How well do you speak English? How good are you at speaking English? Please answer these questions on our discussion box. All right. Let's review this right here. So you work out. Go ahead Every and day. repeat after me, please. Twice a week. How often do you work Not out? Not very often. How often do you work, often work do you out? Work out? Mm -hmm. How often do you work out? If you remember, this is the same question we used with adverse or frequency, right? So how do you say, ¿Qué tan seguido te bañas? Every day. Uh -huh, but what about the question? How often do you take a shower? How often do you take a shower? How often do you take a shower? ¿Qué tan seguido vas al gimnasio? How often, How often do you, do you go, go to the gym? Do you go Very to the gym? That's right. How often do you study English? How often do you study Every English? Every day. How often do you study English? Okay, good. Um, <laughs> no, eso no, espérame, soy el, soy el teacher. Um, how, ¿Qué tan seguido sales? Uh, no sé, a divertirte. How often do you go out? Ahí estamos. Good. So if you notice, how often do you, y le ponen el verbo. This talks about frequency. Vamos a ocupar how often para frecuencia. Okay? Now, how do you say okay. todos los días? Every day. Every day. Every day. Toda la semana. Todas las semanas. Every week. Every week. Every week. Every week. Good job. Todos los, todos los meses. Every, Every month. month. Every month. Todos los lunes. Every Monday. Every Monday. Monday. Todos los viernes. Every, Every Friday. 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 Good. Nice. Ya ven cómo ustedes pueden ir metiendo vocabulario y solo cambiándole el complemento. Twice a week. 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 How do you say dos veces al mes? Twice a month. Twice a month. Estamos. Cinco veces al año. Five a year. Five a year. Five, five times. times. Five, five times. Years. A year. A year. A year. Good. Year. El year va a ir en singular. Como en español. Cinco veces al año. Five times a year. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Not very often. Not, Not very, very, often. very often. Very often. How do you say no muy seguido? No very, very, often. very often. Very often. Muy seguido. Very often. Very, very, often. Often. very often. often. Le quitamos el not. Very good. So, Adonai, pregúntele por favor a Lisette que qué tan seguido, um, qué tan seguido va al super. Lisette, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, how often do you go to the market? To the not market. very often. Nice. Not very Simple as that. Es yeah? más fácil que ponerle un vuelo cuando está fondeado. Next one. <laughs> How long do you spend at the gym? How long do you spend at the gym? Good. So, how long is cuánto tiempo? It's not about the frequency, it's cuánto tiempo. Um, how long do you spend at the supermarket? How long do you spend? Okay. ¿Qué tanto te tardas en el super? Two hours. One hour. How long do you spend at the supermarket? Right? How do you say Two hours a week. Que, ¿Cuánto te tardas en el trabajo? ¿Cuánto oh, tiempo pasas en el oh, trabajo? A day. Nine hours. Ajá. ¿Y la pregunta? ¿And the question? How long do you spend a day? How often or how long? How long? How long? How long? How long? Uh -huh, exactly. Sorry. How long? Don't worry. <laughs> How long do you spend at the gym? ¿Cuánto tiempo pasas en el gimnasio? ¿Cuánto tiempo pasas en la iglesia? How long do you spend at the church? At the church. Ajá. Ahí solo sería at church. At the church. 
a ah, church. Okay. Sure. 30 minutes a day. 30, 30 minutes, minutes a day. 30 minutes a day. How do you say 30 minutes a la semana? 30 minutes a week. week. Good. Una hora a la semana. One hour a week. One hour a week. Muy bien. Two hours a week. Dos horas a la semana. Repeat after me, please. Two hours, Two hours a week. A week. Two hours a week. About an hour on weekends. About an hour, hour on weekend. weekend. Good. About is más o menos, ¿verdad? Aproximado. So, mm -hmm. how do you say uh, más o menos dos horas los lunes? About, About an hour. Two hours, two hours on, Monday. Monday. on Monday. Monday. Mondays. Good. On Mondays. About two on hours Mondays. on Mondays. On mm -hmm. We're going to use Mondays because it's every Monday. Okay. Okay. Como en español también, los lunes. En vez de el lunes. If we say on Monday, es el siguiente lunes después que lo dijimos. Good. So guys, what do we use for frequency? What is the question for frequency? Frequency. How often? How often? How often? How often? How often? Para el tiempo que nos tardamos haciendo algo. How long? How long? How long? How long? Good. Next one is going to be how well. Teacher, I have a question. Uh -huh. uh, 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 why? Uh, why is uh, the different uh, when I use uh, a span in this in in, in the adverb uh, frequency, how long? ¿Cuándo voy a utilizar el span? Porque cuando alguien dijo el ejemplo de la iglesia, uh -huh. este, eso es pasar o gastar. Usted dijo que no íbamos a utilizar el span ahí. Y me queda un poco la duda. Mm, no me acuerdo okay. de, de eso. Pero no te preocupes, puedo explicarlo a ti. Ahora, depende. Nosotros vamos a ocupar spend... Puede ser spend money, que, que prácticamente es gastar o, o pasar, ¿verdad? You spend money, tú gastas dinero. Spend time, tú pasas el tiempo o te gastas el tiempo. No lo recuperamos. Entonces, uh -huh. spend tiene una connotación como afirmativa. Hey, mira, fíjate que me gasté uh, 20 pesos en esta camisa. Y está contento, ¿verdad? Hey, man, I spent 20 bucks on this shirt. It was a bargain. Era un, como un, un, una ganga. Bargain. Ya se los voy a poner en el chat. Bargain. Repeat it after me, please. Bargain. 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 Okay. So, bargain, bargain puede ser tanto una ganga o puede ser, um, no, give me a second, negociar. Como regatear, perdón, regatear. Ah, okay. El número de menos. Ahí va el bargain. You are bargaining. All right, and uh, the difference with waste, que si waste time, ahí, ahí sí es perder el tiempo. Waste. Waste. Uh -huh. waste. And waste money es desperdiciar el dinero. Entonces, spend casi siempre se ocupa con time and money, pero en una manera como aceptada, buena manera, y waste se ocupa para una forma negativa. Man, I wasted $20 on this cell phone and it doesn't work. Me gasté 20 pesos en esto y no Dice, funciona. Eh, podría decir, uh, eh, I spend a lot of time with my family in quarantine. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, you can. I spend. I see. Uh -huh. I spend a lot of time with my family. During quarantine. Paso el tiempo y no lo dice de mala manera. Ok, muy bien. Spend time, spend money, bueno. Waste time, waste money, malo. Gastar. Sure, sorry, how mm -hmm. do you write uh, waste? Waste, ok. Waste. I waste a lot of money. A lot, okay, I, I waste a lot of time with Rodrigo. Espero que no, no tener ningún Rodrigo aquí. Mm -hmm. 
I waste ah, a lot of okay, time with Rodrigo. Okay. Yo, man, uh -huh. perdí un montón de tiempo con Rodrigo. ¿Estamos? Okay, Entonces, waste, okay. ambos, okay. para tiempo y dinero. Waste, no. significado malo. Spend, okay. normal. No tiene que ser, okay. ser así como que wow, positivo. Did I answer your question? Entonces, ¿Le contesté la pregunta? Eh, yes, thank you, teacher. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Teacher, entonces, entonces eh, use waste eh, cuando la respuesta sea negativa y spend cuando la respuesta sea positiva. Ok, good. Quiero hacer una diferencia ahí porque ya vimos afirmativo y negativo en simple present. Ok. No es en cuanto a estructura, sino en cuanto a eh, sentimiento en cuanto a percepción si ustedes se fijan en el ejemplo si ustedes se fijan en el ejemplo I waste a lot of time with Rodrigo es una oración afirmativa ¿Ya? verbo, perdón, sujeto, verbo, complemento es afirmativa pero tiene una connotación tiene un mensaje negativo ok, no es de lo contrario, si yo le quiero hacer así si yo le quiero hacer negativa para que vean la diferencia, sería I don't waste a lot of time with Rodrigo. No sé si ven la diferencia. En una estamos haciendo, es un significado negativo y en el otro es una estructura negativa. Ok. Now, okay. if we have a lot of questions with this, Um, yo, yo casi siempre doy asesorías, guys. Si ustedes algún día quieren que les explique antes algo que no entiendan, contáctenme. Hoy pasé algo ocupado, tengo un montón de chats que revisar. Este, pero díganme, miren, soy Adonai del grupo tal y quiero ver si tiene tiempo a tal hora para que me explique la diferencia de tal cosa. Y una, una vez agendado, yo con gusto les ayudo, no hay problema. Thank you. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and continue. Espero que haya quedado más o menos claro. If not, like I said, contact me and I'll help you out. Yo les ayudo. Okay. okay. All right, next one. How well, how well how do you well, play well, tennis? How well do you play, well play tennis? tennis? Well, do you play tennis? Good. ¿Qué también jugas tenis? How do you say que también jugas fútbol? How well do you how play, well do you play you soccer? Soccer. soccer? Good. ¿Qué también hablas inglés? How, How well do you, do you speak English? Speak English. Speak English. Speak English. Right, that's right. How, How well do you, do you swim? Swim. Swim. Mm -hmm. swim. En el contexto siempre en base. Entonces vamos a ocupar How well, guys, para preguntar qué tan bien hacemos la actividad. ¿Ok? Qué tan bien hacemos la actividad. Give me a few examples. Well, vamos a dejar los ejemplos para, para después. Pretty well. Say with me, please. Pretty well. Pretty well. Pretty well. Pretty well. Pretty well. Bastante bien, la verdad. Bastante bien. About average. About, about, about average. average. About, about, about average. About average. About average. Here. Esta E no se pronuncia. Average. About average. About average. Promedio. Promedio. Not very well. Not very, Not well. very, very well. well. Very well. No muy bien. No muy bien. ¿Qué también jugas tenis? Muy bien. Pretty well. ¿Qué también jugas tenis? Normalón ahí pateándole la media. Promedio. Average es promedio. ¿Qué también jugas tenis? No muy bien. A ver si ya tirándole a, a beginner. Next one. How good are you at sports? How good are you at sports? Good. Here we're asking, ¿qué tan bueno eres tú? En el anterior es, ¿qué tan bueno haces la acción? Okay. Yo juego más o menos bien. Y, qué tan bien. y en esta, how good are you at sports? ¿Qué tan bueno eres tú? Yo soy bueno. Ya no digo, soy bueno jugando. Right. ¿Qué tan bueno sos en algo? So, how do you say, ¿qué tan bueno sos en idiomas? How good are, are you at idioms? How are you at, at languages? Or language. Language. Uh -huh. Languages. Languages in plural. Languages. It's necessary use at, at language. 
Now. At length. Okay. En este caso sí. How good yeah. are you at? At, ok. Uh -huh. Porque ocupamos uh -huh. good at, buena at. en. Entonces sí. Now, ¿qué tan bueno eres en... Let me see. ¿Qué tan bueno sos en música? En música. <laughs> Music. How good? Music. Good. Pretty good. Pretty good. good. Pretty. 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 Pretty good. Bastante, Pretty good. bastante bueno. Next one. No. Okay. 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 Más o menos, vea. Y tirando, bien. Le hago, vea. Not so good. Not so good. Not so good. No soy muy bueno. Okay. Good. So remember, guys. All right. So how often? Frecuencia. ¿Qué tan seguido? How long? ¿Qué tanto tiempo? How well? Right. ¿Qué tan bien haces la acción? How good are you? ¿Qué tan bueno sos? Okay. Good. So what we're gonna do right now, guys, is I'm, I'm gonna open up the groups and I want you to ask questions, okay? Si tenemos dos personas en el grupo, van a preguntarse una cada uno con often, luego una cada uno con how long, una cada uno con how well, y una cada uno con how good. Y ustedes escogen, okay. si quieren tomen el screenshot a esto y mándenlo al WhatsApp group. Quiero ver si lo puedo hacer yo. Lo mandan al WhatsApp group. Y vamos a trabajar por 10 minutes. So try to ask yourself question over question, over and over again. Pregunta tras pregunta tras pregunta. Any questions? No. No? So let's rock it. Vamos. Go ahead and accept the invite and we start practicing. Okay. I'll send it to you right now. Go. Please accept the invite. Let me see if you sent the uh, image already. Yes, they did. Hi, teacher. What's up, sir? Did you get the invite? Le llegó la invitación, Omar? No, teacher. Join. Es un botoncito que dice join. Sí. No, teacher. No, bye. Le voy a mandar otra. No la acepte. Ok. No la acepte todavía. Solo avísame si okay. le llega. Just let me know if you got it. Did you get it? No. Ok. What about now? ¿Y ahora? Tiene que andar por ahí. Um, no, teacher. No. Okay, entonces, please stay here. I'm going to ask um, Emerson to come to this one. Stay here, please. Hi, Emerson. Hello, Emerson. Can you hear me? Hello? Emerson, ¿me escuchas? Sí, sí, sí. Ok. Aquí estoy. Um, tú estás con Omar, pero Omar no se pudo meter. Entonces, hazme un favor. Salte del break room. Ok. Uh -huh. Para que regreses a la sesión eh, general y ahí te vas a encontrar con Omar para que puedan practicar. Bueno, okay. ahorita. Thank you, sir. All right, fantastic. Good, nice to meet you, Emerson. Nice to meet you too, Omar. Thanks. I'm started. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. How often do you go to the park? Good. Okay. In quarantine, never, but. <laughs> Good. 
but and I sometimes go to the park. All right, okay. fantastic. Continue, you got this. Let me check the other group. Okay. For you. Yes, my turn. Okay. How well do you uh, uh, paint, painting? Painting. Paint. Painting. 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 Pintar about painting. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. How well are you? Yeah, you can say that. How well are you painting? ¿Qué tan bueno eres pintando? Yes. Not very well. No, not very well. Okay. Are you with well? Están con well ahorita? Eh, yeah. How uh -huh. well? Sí. How that well? Be then, how well do you paint? Do you paint? Ah. Uh -huh. How, how well, well do you paint? Paint. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. And then, and there you can say not very well. Okay, see, yeah, no, no, no very well. Paint. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Teacher, in that case, I I ask about the hacer dibujo, o sea, así como que hacen pinturas o cuadros. Good. In that case, it's going to be context. You can say, how well do you paint um, paintings, for example. Painting. Paintings, pero tienen que ir ambos. How well do you paint? Mm. Dejémoslo así con how well do you paint. Okay. Y se entiende que es arte, porque si no sería how well do you paint houses, por ejemplo. Okay. Que también mm -hmm. pintas casas. So dejémoslo así, how well do you paint? Okay, thank you. Your turn. Okay. Um, how well do you... Uh, do you running? Do you ah. running exercise? It is In this moment, running, running not very well. Pause, pause, pause. How well do you run? Si se fijan el verbo en base. Okay. Mm -hmm. it, but uh, my intention is uh, that uh, to give uh, that the run is exercise, no, not running the correr. Ah, okay. How well do you exercise? Mm. Only, okay. ¿Qué también uh -huh. te ejercitas? How well do you exercise? Exercise, okay. Not very well. Please. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> You're doing a good job. Let me check another room. Continue. Okay. okay. How good are you at speak English? Mm. Okay. Good. In that one, you can say, hay una pequeña excepción ahí. How good are you speaking English? Speaking English. Mm -hmm. Okay. Speaking English. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right. Continue. I'll be right back. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I don't listen to you. No te escuché. I didn't hear you. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I, ¿Cómo sería? Perdón. I didn't. I didn't. Hear you. Hear you. Mm -hmm. Not escucha. I didn't hear you. Okay. I didn't hear you. Okay. How long do you spend at the, at the work? Uh -huh. How long do you spend at work? At work. Mm -hmm. Uh, my work is I spend seven hours. Uh -huh. I spend about I spend mm -hmm. seven about um, seven hours every day. Uh -huh. okay. Seven hours every day. Okay. Yes. How uh, how well do you play, teacher? Mm -hmm. uh, what does that mean, ajedrez? Chess. Oh, chess. Chess. Okay. chess. <laughs> How well do you play chess? I play chess. Do you play chess? I am pretty well. Pretty well. Uh, pretty well. Solo si. Pretty well. Pretty well. Nice pretty job. Well. Ah, okay. Let pretty me well. check another group. Good job, Adam, I and Roberto. <laughs> I'll be right back. Uh, how good are you? Ah, no. Any eh, question? 
Uh, three times a week. Three times a week. Three times a week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, how long do you spend at the shop? At the shop, como en un mecánico. <laughs> Taller. Tienda, yeah. no, tienda, tienda, o sea, como tienda de la casa. Shop? Tienda de no. la casa. ¿Usted tiene una tienda en la casa? No, no, él. Ella me está preguntando. Ok, ¿cuánto tiempo? Ah, ok. How long do you spend at the grocery store? La tienda grocery store. De la casa. Sí, la tiendita donde va a comprar soda uh -huh. o cosas así. Grocery store, yeah. I'm going to write it down in the chat. Grocery store. Grocery store. Ah, ok. Grocery store. Ok. Mm -hmm. How long do you spend? Ahí sería at. O solo at the grocery spend gro okay. at, at, at grocery store. Uh -huh. At the grocery store. Uh, and maybe. Um, uh, four times. Four times a week. <laughs> Unas mm. cuatro veces a la semana. Okay, um, normally there you're gonna have to use it in time. I spend five minutes, for example, cinco minutos. I spend okay. 10 minutes, 15 minutes. If there's a lot of people, say a montón de gente. Uh -huh. So, 10 minutes, mm -hmm. 10 minutes. Okay. Mm. Um, how well do you do you play you say do you play mm. whatever mm -hmm. any sports uh -huh. you game okay. Okay. okay how well do you play video not very well. All right. No, okay. I don't have a, a PlayStation right now. <laughs> That's good. All right, guys. So, uh, well done. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. Okay. How good? Hello, teacher. Hello. I'm back, and I'm going to bring everybody else back. De los voy a traer a todos de regreso. Okay. Okay, so far, Omar Emerson, do you have any questions on the structure? Is it clear? Tienen alguna pregunta en la estructura? Está claro, no claro? Sorry. Okay. All good? All right. Okay, that's okay. Fantastic. So, guys, that's going to be all for today, but you do have a homework. You do have homework to do. I want you to please write down two examples of each category. Okay. Two, examples. Will be the, two examples of each category. Okay. Those examples de cada categoría. I'm going to write it down here in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Eight sentences. Aha. Uh -huh. And the question with the, the answer. Exactly. The question short answer. And answer. Quiero ver pre intermedio dos. Please. Please write down two examples of each category. Is the homework, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, okay. Questions and answers. Okay, so that's gonna be all for today, guys. Si tienen alguna pregunta, contáctenme. Hoy fue un día atípico para mí. Que la verdad no tuvo chance en toda la tarde de tocar el teléfono, pero generalmente estoy un poquito más pendiente. ¿Alguna pregunta de esto? Háganla con confianza. Eh, sé que eh, gracias a los que están pendientes, Tatiana creo que me escribió, pero no tuve chance de contestar, solo abrí el mensaje. Um, any question, let me know. Ok. So, tarea, okay. dos ejemplos con how often, con su okay. idea de respuesta. Háganlo personal para que les pegue, para que les pegue y lo mandan al grupo. Le pueden tomar foto 
okay. sin letra de doctor, letra legible, que si no entiendo, no está mal. <risa> okay. Y um, con lo de Simple Present voy a estarles pasando un link para que vean un video acerca de eso. Ok. okay. okay. Thank you, Guys, teacher. my pleasure. That Thank you very much for coming. Okay. On behalf of the good night. Day, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, good teacher. Night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. See you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Good night.